YouTubers. I'm Nanette, your social, philosophical, poetic commentator, and this is for adults only because we're going to talk about Schedule 1 drugs. And if you're 21 or under, or is it 20 and 11 months and 29 days, and under the Drug Enforcement Agency, they're the ones that use force, say that you are still a baby and so I cannot talk to you about drugs. What? I can talk to anybody about anything? Wasn't that the First Amendment rights? What's going on here? But nevertheless, I do not want to get arrested because I talked to some kid. So kids, put your grandma on and let me talk to grandma. I love grandmas. They're so, uh, they're so full of stories uh, to relate with me. Uh, I tell a story, they tell a story, we tell a story together and uh, laugh about uh, how much our backgrounds are together or different. So, this is my first test of the day. Today is, what, the 12th of February? A Friday, or we're looking at Sunday's Valentine's Day. This is uh, the President's Weekend or something. Washington and Lincoln, they're only two of the guys. Let's celebrate all of them. Uh, what do we got? Uh, Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe. I, I can remember that many. Uh, only because I got an A in 11th grade history if I memorized them, right? So I memorized them. That along with the Gettysburg Address, I got another A for that one. You know, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this nation, or is this continent, a new nation. Hey, I, I learned this, you know, let's see, 74 from, what, 11? <laughs> Maybe 12, 13? Uh, that was a while ago. Uh, what was it? Uh, four score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth on this continent, a new nation, uh, born in, oh God, no, I did forget it. Well, there you are. Uh, I knew it once. Huh? And so uh, that's my tribute to uh, President's Weekend. Washington, Adams, Jefferson, Madison, Monroe. You know, most of them uh, were uh, Protestants, uh, Presbyterians, uh, even a few uh, Unitarians, but all Protestants. Uh, and I find that so interesting because, uh, well, half of them were very narrow-minded and afraid to make a move. The other half were very bold and made all kinds of moves. And so what we're hearing lately is that uh, George Washington was very uh, proud of his hemp crop, and he had his smoking hemp a different from in a different place than the rest and he wanted the the workers to make sure they didn't let his smoking hemp go to seed so you know you question this tobacco in the peace pipe who ever heard of tobacco in a peace pipe i mean we always go like peace and put a hit in the in the pipe so i don't understand uh, how that happened uh so there you are my thoughts for first thing this morning and now that I have tested uh, my computer, tested my sound and everything works, if this looks okay uh, we'll uh, give you a taste of it and upload it. In the meantime I just want to remind you to um, know your grower, uh, crush your buds before you smoke them, make sure there isn't a seed in there uh, if it has any kind of a white tint to it at all, it's mold and you don't want to smoke it. Uh, what else can I say? Um, uh, if, you, if you smoke in a pipe, you only need to take one hit. If you roll a joint, you're apt to smoke it like a cigarette, like you got to smoke the whole thing uh, down to the roach and then maybe even put the roach on a clip and smoke the roach. Well, we used to do it that way when we were getting dirt weed from Mexico. But we no longer need to do that if we're in an area that 
grows a decent bud so you don't need to smoke all that to get high and that's why I say those great big bongs where you have to take a big full hit and then pull all that smoke in it isn't necessary it just isn't necessary do you know that marijuana can save your life just by uh, just by uh, 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 slapping it on your skin and rubbing it around I mean this this plant is a miracle and people are just beginning to realize it isn't it wonderful so for you smoking grandmas out there let me remind you to take care of those love you and love those that take care of you and keep a pipe full handy for yourself when you need it and smoke one with me when you get a chance and so now we've gotten to this point where oh my goodness we do have a minute to smoke one so let's go get it I think I left my pipe out here in the cart and you can uh, watch me go and get it isn't the card in there now? Yeah, you can see the card. So you can watch me go get my pipe. <coughs> oh, and it's take that grandma out to play. Don't you know the only way to keep a grandma looking good and having hell the way she should is take that grandma out to play. How does it start? What do we got to do today? Well... We're going to take that grandma out to play. What do we got to do today? Well, let's get it done early and out of the way so we can take that grandma out to play. Listen, children, everywhere. Knock that grandma off that chair. Knock and knock until you can't get an answer, huh? All right. What do you think of my new dog? I couldn't resist him. I found him at Wally World, part of the Valentine Day stuff yesterday. <laughs> I went to town, spent all my money. But I thought he might just work out as a help to the back. I have such terrible back pains. And I'm thinking maybe if I could get him set up for me in the right direction, he could help because he's soft enough to uh, put a little bit of a a, a, a lumbar something or other. I have numerous chairs on wheels, but I only have one of them that, when I lean back, stretches my back for me. The rest of them push the back down, which makes the pain worse. So, without a dolling up, uh, without rebrushing my hair, I'm still a little sweaty from my ride up here. I still have my red jacket on because... Uh, because that east wind, well, today it's a northeast wind, but it's cold. I, I, I think you're letting it down here from Alaska, or uh, where is it coming from? Oh, and I bought a magazine yesterday from the U.K., so I'm going to have to look at that. But first, let's take a hit together. Oh, before we run out of time, it's getting close to the deadline. I put it in here today. <laughs> this is such a pretty thing. Uh, a couple of the birds are painted, and a bunch of them aren't. Did you see? Oh, here, i got to bring it back here so you can see. Oh, I could put this there so you can see me over here. Right. Okay, so you can see it's a really nice looking. Now, this little piece of bud I'm going to put in here right now has a, it's got a stem on it. So I'm, I'm going to take the stem off and just put the pieces in here, right? And I'll just take this little stem. See, you can almost see the stem. It's very small. Now, some people might eat that if they like the juices off the stem, but I, I, I get my pleasure from smoke. I really enjoy smoking. I really like the instant gratification I get in my head uh, because that's where I need it. I need a head high. Maybe that's why they called them head shops, huh? Because they were head highs. Is that what it was? Okay, let's oh, see if it goes in the dark if I do that. Because it's so light out there behind me. There, how's that? All right. Oh, 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 we got to go. Take a, take a hit. Oh, no.